Hello, my name is Jack Darcy, and today I'm going to be doing a presentation on vitamin E. So, vitamin E is key for strong immunity and healthy skin and eyes. So, in recent years, vitamin E supplements have been popular as anti antitoxins. <laughs> there are sub substances that protect cells from damage. So, vitamin E is found in some foods, added to others, and available as a dietary supplement. Vitamin E is a collective name for groups of fat-soluble compounds with distinctive antitoxin activities. So, concentrations of vitamin E depend on the liver, uh, which take up the nutrient after various forms are absorbed from the small intestine. So, it uh, acts as an antitoxin, helping to protect cells from damage called by f caused by free radicals. So, the proper or like healthy amount of vitamin E, or at least necessary amount of vitamin E for uh, different age groups are like from in infants from seven to 12 months is around five milligrams. Children from four to eight years is around seven. Uh, teens 14 to 18 is around 15 milligrams and adults are about 15 too. Pregnant teens and women are about 15 and breastfeeding teens and women are about 19 milligrams. So Vitamin E is found naturally in foods and is added to some fortified foods. So you can get recommended uh, amounts of vitamin E by eating a variety of foods. So many foods such as uh, vegetable, oil, vegetable oils and stuff like that have vitamin E. So like sunflower, safflower oils, uh, nuts such as almonds, seeds like sunflower seeds and green vegetables like spinach and broccoli. So... Some things that vitamin E can help with also is one thing scientists have found is that heart disease. So in some studies link higher intakes of vitamin E from supplements to lower chances of developing heart disease. Cancer most research uh, indicates that vitamin e, d vitamin e does not help prevent cancer and uh, also can be harmful in some cases, however. In large, large doses of vitamin E have not consistently reduced the risk of breast or colon cancer. So it doesn't really help cancer. However, it helps. It can help heart disease, we found. Also, it can help me mental function. So several studies have investigated whether vitamin E supplements may help older adults remain mentally alert and active. And so vitamin E, we have found, might be able to actually help prevent or slow the decline of mental function in Alzheimer's disease, and eating vitamin E in foods is not risky or harmful. And here's a little, little tablet for vitamin E right there, really small. So, yeah, that's my presentation. Thank you very much.